In today's video, I want to share with you how to make multipurpose liquid detergent and the list of ingredients needed and their roles in formulation of liquid soap. And so the first ingredient will be needed for the formulation of this liquid soap is caustic soda. Caustic soda, which is also known as sodium hydroxide, is used to saponify fat and oil, transforming them into soap, which is essential for effective cleaning. It also boosts the cleaning power by breaking down grease and organic stains. And the second ingredient needed is STPP. STPP in liquid detergents improves their performance, especially in hard water conditions, and contributing to cleaner, residue-free results. And the third ingredient is soda hash. Soda hash works as a water softener by binding calcium and magnesium ion which enhances the effectiveness of the detergent in hard water. It also boosts alkalinity, which helps remove stains and grease. And the fourth ingredient is sodium lowered sulfate. This is a surfactant that lowers surface tension, allowing water to mix with oil and dirt for better cleaning. It creates foam, making the detergent feel more effective and providing a visual cue of cleaning action. And the fifth ingredient is tezapon. Tezapon is another surfactant that enhances foaming and aids in grease removal. It is milder than SLS, often used to increase foam without excessive harshness. And the sixth ingredient is sulfonic acid. Sulfonic acid is an anionic surfactant that effectively cuts through grease and soil, helping to break them down. It also contributes to the foaming and cleaning power of the detergent. And the seventh ingredient is nitrosol. Nitrosol is a thickening agent used to achieve a desirable viscosity in liquid detergent. It also stabilizes the formulation, making the product easier to pour and apply. And the eighth ingredient is cocamide. It is derived from coconut oil. It stabilizes foam, thickens the solution, and acts as a secondary surfactant to enhance cleansing. And the next ingredient on our list is sodium sulfate. Sodium sulfate acts as a filler that helps control the concentration and consistency of the detergent, making it more manageable and balancing the flow properties. And the next ingredient on our list is glycerin. Glycerin is used as a humitant to keep the detergent from drying out. It can also add a soft, skin-friendly quality if the detergent is used for hand washing. And next on our list is sodium benzoate. Sodium benzoate is a preservative that prevents microbial growth, extending the shelf life of the detergent by inhibiting mold, bacteria, and yeast. And the last we have on our list is fragrance. Fragrance provides a pleasant scent, masking any strong chemical odor and enhancing user's experience, although it is totally optional. This is the chart showing the category of the main ingredients used in this recipe. Some ingredients play multiple roles in the formulation of liquid soap, like SLS, tezapon, sulfonic acid, which are considered to be foaming agents, and as well as performing cleaning tasks. So this is why you can be able to make liquid soap with four ingredients, three ingredients, so on and so forth. An STPP in cleaning agents, which also fall in the category of water softener and binder. Caustic soda, which is a cleaning agent and also plays a role in preservation. And so with all the ingredients being highlighted, we go ahead and measure out our ingredients and start making our liquid soap. This liquid soap is good for washing of hands, washing of clothes, washing of dishes, so on and so forth. Except you can't use it for baiting. Please click on the pinned comment and let's start making our liquid soup. Or you can also get access to the video at the end screen of this video. Thanks for watching.